welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Sarah No H. I wanted to thank um, all the new subscribers that have come along and joined me on my channel. Thank you guys, welcome. Um, my name is Sarah No H. I do a variety of topics here from health to just hanging out with me. Um, really anything that interest me I'm gonna try to relay information on um, I also wanted to give a huge shout out to the 11,000 people that watched my iodine video um, thank you so much for taking some time to watch that video you know I was reading through that gaps book and I was like that is so interesting I really want to relay some information about it to maybe people don't know about that I have personally never heard of the iodine skin patch test so Thanks for all the comments. I love reading everything. I do read all the comments there. Um, I do want to preface this also by saying that if you're coming over here to spew negativity, um, my channel is not going to be about negativity. Uh, I know I really won't engage or respond to negativity either. We either have enough negative stuff going on in the world, especially the past two years and current state of affairs that. Um, you know, if you're gonna be a negative person, this is probably not the place for you to be because I don't have any more room in my life to deal with negative anything. So that being said, I'm gonna go on in and uh, look around all these because I heard there's a lot of shortages going on. I've really consolidated my grocery shopping down to like once a month. So I haven't been in there yet and I'm really curious. So I'm gonna bring you guys in and we'll see what we see and I'll uh, take some video probably gonna do a voiceover because um, it looks pretty busy and I don't want to be chit chatting around with the camera um, so I'm gonna take some video on the sly let's go all right let's head on into all these it is the most beautiful day today and we've had such cold weather I can't believe it's almost 70 degrees I saw a lot of videos on YouTube where this area in particular was missing a lot of product and we're very stocked. I'm not seeing a lot of sp empty spaces. Here's a new product for all you keto folks. I just saw this today. It may have been around for a while, but again, I haven't been back into all these in probably a month. And here's all the bread. I mean, we're, we're very stocked, very well stocked. And yeah, the prices have definitely gone up um, on a lot of products. I did notice that right away. We got all the produce. It was pretty busy in here, but they're, I mean, we're, we're well stocked up. Have you guys noticed any dairy shortages, like the cheese section, um, the meats are full. I guess maybe it's dependent at this time on where in the country you're located. This was the one section soup that I saw a bare shelf. So I just got back. I only spent about $35 at all these, but I did not see any shortages here. So I'm wondering if, I don't know, like traveling is getting easier and goods are being transported. Even though the price of gas is so high, I did notice that prices have increased at all these from what they used to be, um, which is why I've really been tightening up my grocery budget since January. Um, but I didn't see a lot of shortages. What are you guys seeing like the most common shortage in? Um, I mean, there were some aisles that like the soup and stuff, but other than that, it was very, very well stocked. Um, so not sure. Maybe we're starting to come out of it a little bit and I'm gonna go put this stuff away. And here's a little update on poor little Bo. So Bo the Shih Tzu, who is three and a half, he is a special needs doggy. Um, he has a vision impairment and he bumped his eyes at some point. So I'm waiting for the vet to call me back so I can get his corneal repair gel and his eye drops. But he is very, very sad today because he did bump his eyes and he has very bad vision. Um, and uh, I'm not exactly sure when it happened, but I did notice that he was squinting and sometimes it resolves itself. Um, <clears throat> this time he must have really bonked his bonked his eyes real good, but we are gonna fix him up so he will be a little bit peppier. He did eat some apple before and he was outside barking, so, but he's not his 
cute little self and I feel terrible, but never fear. Bo will be repaired and back to new and causing trouble before we know it. Old man Bowie. What's up, dude? He just got groomed. So he's got to recover. But Boo's doing good. He's definitely got the old man face. Hey, you're getting, you're getting like a gray, a whitish mustache. Aw, you're getting old. He's doing really good though. What is life without the boys? Right, Boo? Got a bull haircut though. Did you tell them to cut your hair like that? You'll always be cute to me. Don't mind this because I just bunned up my hair. It was, it was suffocating me. Um, yeah, suffocating me. So I also wanted to talk about in this video, the rising price of gas. I traveled every single day last week for work and I paid over a hundred dollars out of my money to get to and from work. That is insane. Um, I am seeing in the area for 39 a gallon and I feel like the farther, you know, the more across the country you get towards California, they, they are seeing gas prices up at $7 a gallon. This is insane. I really hope that this doesn't last too much longer. Um, I have to really think about my work travel now because although I do get a car allowance, um, last week alone allotted for half of it out of the month. So I need to kind of figure out my workflow going forward. Um, have you guys seen drastic increase in your gas uh, week to week to week? Or is it ha has it stayed steady? I think here it's been 439 for a couple of weeks now, but um, that's not to say it might not go up farther. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do at that point. Um, yeah, so, oof, crazy times. I'm gonna end the video here. Thanks for spending some time with me today. And for your viewing pleasure, an M&M store from Orlando, Florida. Everybody loves chocolate and look how happy this is, all the colors, so let's be positive, let's stay positive, and things are looking up, hopefully. We'll be in a better place. Please like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next time.